It all comes down to how bad we want it and why do we want it? See, we have these goals, aspirations, destinations we have to get to, fears we have to conquer. But if you don't have a strong desire, if you don't have a strong will to overcome, then you will not succeed. If you don't believe that you will not succeed, then you will not succeed. We have to reprogram our brain into finding joy, finding fun, and doing the work that no one else would do. Getting up early in the morning to make a video, getting up early to get that workout in, or even just write down your vision. See, you already set yourself ahead of the competition when we work at ourselves every day. The people you see with these goals and stuff, they're part-time dreamers. They're part-time hustlers, you know? They don't really want it that bad. And this is reflected upon the work. This is reflected upon their lifestyle. They want to go to the gym. They want to get ripped. They still eat in Cheez-Its for breakfast. They still eat in Sour Patch for lunch. And they still going to search up on YouTube how to get abs in five minutes. If I was in the fitness field, if I was in the fitness field, I would just see how lucrative it is because people, the same questions people are asking five years ago, they're still asking today. These fitness channels are so lucrative because people don't have the discipline and the effort to put in work. It's not just in fitness, but it's in financial discipline. It's in every aspect of self-development. And people lack the drive, but they have the want and desire to live a successful, abundant life. It doesn't make sense. So I'm telling you that if you really want to separate yourself from the pack, work at yourself every day and put in more hours. You arrive earlier and you leave later. We have to have the mama mentality with our lifestyle. And this is where greatness happens. Not everyone is cut for this. Not everyone is built for this. But you, if you're watching this, most likely you have that gene. You have that, you have that will inside of you. You have that oomph inside of you. So we got we got to be allergic to average. But if average suits you, go ahead. Be fine. Be average. But don't hate on the other man. Don't hate on the next man. We're all, we all have the same 24 and we all have the same capability of living however life we want. But you know, not everybody could have all the models on the beaches, not the fastest cars, not the flyest clothes. Some of us want to be in Walmart clothes. Some of us want to be in Payless clothes with an average looking chick. But I'm talking to the guys that want to have the nice car. Pockets fat. Fly ass fits. This is what it takes. Long days. Short rest. Torture, struggle. Having discipline to do stuff you don't want to do. This is really the path we headed in. This is the direction we going into. And... If you just see the light at the end of the tunnel, I guarantee that you will make it. You will get there. Just don't get caught up in the traffic or the noise. Like, you can't do this. Why are you doing this? Why is it so hard? Why don't you just get a normal job? Why don't you just do this? Why don't you? Don't even listen to that. Just keep your eye focused on the end of the tunnel and you will finally become that light. You will kindly, you will become one with the light. So if you enjoyed this video... Like, share, comment, subscribe, and until next time, you be well. One.